So, a massive warm welcome to the show, Spencer. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yes, I'd be happy to, know. My name is Spencer Kimball. I am a co-founder and CEO of a company called Cockroach Labs, and we make a database called CockroachDB, which is open source, and it's a SQL relational database. Now, when I research you guys, I quickly learn how Cockroach Labs is a SQL database for building global cloud services. But then when I started to dig a little deeper, things began to get really interesting because I believe the company was founded back in 2015 by three ex-Googlers who left Silicon Valley for New York City due to its vibrancy and enterprise technology, culture and proximity to VCs. So this sounds like an incredibly fascinating story, but I'm sure you've told it a hundred times before. But can I ask you to tell it just one more time? and help set the scene for our podcast today. Yeah, I would be happy to. It's uh, one that's near and dear to my heart. So all three co-founders of Cockroach Labs were, we started within three months of each other at Google. And at Google for 10 years, we got to see uh, Google's struggles with databases and their very ambitious uh, attempts to architect and develop their own uh, sort of cloud native technologies for infrastructure that included databases included file systems um, that's actually something that uh, I and others from cockroach labs worked on at Google and you know it, that that was a revelation because Google was one of the you know big success stories um, in the post dot com boom uh, ecosystem and you know where I think companies came face to face with unimaginable scale for one. Um, and, you know, numbers of customers that started to reach into the billions. And that necessitated new technology. So it was very exciting to see those things built. Um, during that time at Google, of course, we're solving Google's problems. I think Google had problems maybe 10 years, in some cases, earlier than the rest of the ecosystem. But it's been 10 years now. So the rest of the, the companies in the world, the Fortune 500, even startups coming out of the gate, are faced with some of the same challenges, but also some of the same opportunities. And that's largely because any company now has access to the public cloud. And the public cloud gives you the potential to get fairly unlimited number of uh, resources um, in any one location, any one data center, but also across data centers and even across continents and across clouds. And uh, even that is changing um, as companies start to bring on um, new technologies like Data, database, uh, compute, and uh, you know, storage and networking that, that actually happens at the edge, for example. It's an amazing story. It really is. But I've got to ask, I mean, what problems do you solve for your clients and what makes Cockroach Labs unique right now here in 2018? So, uh, you know, we've kind of boiled down what the value proposition is into about six words, uh, which <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll break them down. But we, we, we describe what we do as ultra-resilient SQL for global business. And the, the first part of that, and the most important thing, and it's where most of our customers are using us uh, in sort of the post-Oracle world, is uh, this ultra-resilience piece. And when we say ultra, that word's kind of a strange one. It sounds like some sort of CIA <laughs> program from the 1960s or something. Um, but it, it, it does have a distinctive ring to it. And, and that's very intentional because the resilience that Cockroach DB is offering over something like Oracle with its sort of uh, traditional Golden Gate sort of backup active passive or active active architecture, uh, you know, what Cockroach is providing is something called consensus replication. Um, the old fashioned way of doing things, the way that Oracle does things, uh, it provides what's known as asynchronous replication. The problem with asynchronous replication is that uh, if you do have a disaster, uh, your uh, data from the primary might not have been replicated fully to the secondary. So you can switch over and you can lose data. Um, further, you can actually have your both your primary, which you think is dead, but it's actually still alive and still operating, and your failed over secondary, which is also live and thinks it's the primary now, and they can kind of create different futures. And so you can have these conflicts that have to be resolved later, and this often involves the um, very stressful a participation of application development teams that are running on the database. Cockroach, by contrast, is providing resilience that is involving three or more separate physical replication sites. Not just two, but three or more. And then every time something's written, at least two, the majority. So if you had five, you'd have three or four or five, all would have to respond. But you need at least three. Uh, when the majority have responded, then something becomes committed. And that 
is a, a crucial distinction, which means that you don't lose data, you don't have conflicts uh, when there are failures. So really, it's like a realignment of what disaster recovery means in an organization. Um, Cockroach is trying to turn the conversation away from disaster recovery and more to what people are now calling IT resilience.